starting with uh, horizontal alignment, this is um, module 12. Bilis no? Module 12, horizontal alignment. So with horizontal alignment, also known as the horizontal curve. Also known as the horizontal curve uh, analysis. With horizontal curve analysis, we'll have to cover different methods at which we'll have to assess a vertical, uh, a specific horizontal curve. Whether if it is a simple curve, a compound curve, a reverse curve, or a spiral curve. And of course, whether those types of roads are then applicable to a specific uh, roadway uh, survey. So for horizontal curves, it, this now provides a transition between two tangent strips of roadways. So hindi naman natin basta-basta gusto ko nang may ganitong curve dito sa ating uh, roadway build-up. Meron po tayong specific consideration dan. Uh, uh, with respect din naman dun sa super elevation, how does this particular roadway um, uh, be uh, to be made when it comes to that specific speed of a vehicle that will pass through those roadways? Uh, that is why we have those signages that uh, this particular roadway is la, uh, has a, li a speed limit of this particular speed. Para hindi ka lumipad pag uh, hindi mo nakita yung uh, medyo steep na curb and so forth and so long. Allowing a vehicle to negotiate a turn on a gradual rate rather than a sharp, a sharp cut. Uh, some typical radi you may encounter when it comes to uh, horizontal uh, curves which is uh, 12,000 feet or longer on an in interstate highway, 1,000 feet on a major thoroughfare in a city, and 500 feet on an industrial access road, or 150 feet on a minor residential street. Those particular uh, radius refers to which uh, degree of curve do we need to place on that particular uh, turn. So, sa turn na yun, ganito ka lang. Ga, ganito ka steep yung uh, gagawin nung uh, dadaan. So, gano'ng kabilis yung pwede nating i-assign na signage doon sa particular location na yun for, uh, for us to avoid uh, accidents later on such as shown here. Para madaling makita nung uh, driver kung merong sasakyan doon sa harapan niya or merong uh, obstacle doon sa harapan niya kagaya nung makikita nyo dito. Then, uh, that is uh, specifically called as your uh, line of uh, sight. So, for instance, ito yung ating obstruction. Then, as much as possible, that particular curve is designed for us driver or for you as a driver to see those obstacles, whether you will have to uh, slow down or uh, you'll have to uh, speed up and so forth and so long. And for those other vehicles behind you. Para makita niya. And why do we need to consider those curves for our roadway build-up? Hindi pa pwedeng straight na lang. Kung straight na lang yung gagawin yung roadway, marami tayong obstacle na dadaanan, marami kang babayarang, uh, marami kang babayarang property, and uh, marami kang masisirang uh, environmental resources, and so forth, and so long. And laging uh, problem ito. Lagi tayong tinatanong dito, bakit ang daming palikuli ko yung road dito sa Baguio? Hindi ba pwedeng diretsyo na lang pababa? There is that one thing we called as the super elevation. We need to control the speed of the vehicles that will pass through those roadways. Of course, very important then yung build up ng roadways when it comes to economical uh, uh, economical considerations, tapos budget considerations, uh, tourism considerations, safety considerations, and yung uh, speed of vehicle. Yun ang pinaka-importante doon. Kung masyadong steep yung inyong roadway at diretso lang yung gagawin mo sa yung uh, roadway construction, masyadong mabilis yung pagbaba, masyadong mabagal yung pagtaas. And depende pa doon sa klase ng vehicle na dadaan. Kaya nga meron tayong mga tawag na dito limitations when it comes to types of vehicles that should pass through or should enter Baguio. Diba? Hindi naman lahat ng klase ng vehicle kaya niyang umakyat ng ganito ka steep na elevations. And meron tayong tinatawag din na speed limits. Kaya laging question yun, ang dami mong ginagawang uh, kurba doon sa daan. Hindi ba pwedeng straight na lang? Bakit merong uh, pinatong na kalsada doon sa isang kalsada? Bakit ganun? We need to increase also the volume count 
of vehicles that are allowed to enter the city or a specific municipality. And those informations are important when it comes to tourism and economical assessment of that particular municipality or city. Hindi porket meron ka ng, uh, hindi porket, uh, uh, tawag na dito, hindi porket uh, uh, straight yung kalsada mo or uh, merong uh, kalsada nga uh, magagamit para pumasok yung mga turista or pumasok yung uh, mga resources sa inyong municipality or city, e eh, okay na. We need, uh, we need to increase the volume of vehicles and the people that are entering a specific uh, municipality or city. That is why we'll have to consider those designs such as your horizontal curves and vertical curves. Hindi porket engineer ka, yan lang yung iniisip mo when it comes to designing those uh, information, uh, uh, gathering those information and designing those informations. We need to consider also the economical uh, property the uh, tourism informations, ano pa ba? the safety, of course, and how will this particular road uh, benefit the city and the municipality of such location, and so forth and so long. Of course, today, kailangan din natin i-consider yung environmental aspects. Ano yung mga uh, madadaanan ng ating construction? Ano yung mga maapektuhang puno? And how, do we, how are we going to assess those uh, particular uh, and tawag din dito, obstructions. Then, these are uh, the types of horizontal curves that we need to use or to assess later on in building horizontal roadways. We have simple curves, your compound curves, basically compound curves, the combination of two different simple curves in a single arch. Then, reverse curve. Reverse curve, these are, of course, combination of two simple curves but opposite. Then we have your spiral curve. Spiral curve is a uh, basically origin or originally is a simple curve, but with some revisions, it turns out to be a uh, spiral curves. And this is how would it look like for those types of curves. Yung letter A is your simple curve. Ito yung sino survey natin. Yung traversing lines na yan at saka yung radius. Ang kailangan nating i-design yung curve. As engineers, ito yung kailangan nating i-design. And how does that particular curve affect the speed of the vehicles that will pass through those roadways? Ang kailangan lang nating i-collect na information are those traversing lines and those uh, radius to form a, of course, uh, segment. Then this is your compound curve. Combination of two simple curves. Reverse curve, two simple curves with opposite directions. Then we have your spiral curves. Ito naman yung less steeper na simple curve, yung spiral. Then here are the elements that we need to know when it comes to assessing and collecting information for uh, horizontal curves or horizontal alignments. We have your point of intersections for your traverse lines. Ito yung ating survey, uh, surveyed information. From the uh, field uh, surveying, ito yung kailangan nating hanapin. The traversing line and the intersection of those traversing lines. Uh, intersection angle. Point of intersection, PI. The intersection angle or the uh, point of intersection at which those traverse line uh, intersects. Then, those traversing lines gives us the information on how steep a particular curve should be and uh, will be. No? Then we have radius of your uh, segment, your point of curvature. Point of curvature is the starting point of the uh, simple curve. Dito nag-start yung inyong curve. Then we have your point of tangency or the end point at which the uh, simple curve uh, a stop or uh, dito natapos yung inyong uh, simple curve then we have your central angle central angle is basically equal to the intersection angle point of uh, curvature or the POC point of curvature dito rin yung intersection ng inyong dalawang radius or the center of the uh, segment 
then the length of the curve term uh, denoted as L sub C or S. Some reference uses uh, capital S and some reference uses uh, capital L sub C. Length of the curve or basically the perimeter of the segment. The uh, tangent distance, which is your traversing lines from PC to PI and PI to PT. Then your long cord. Long cord is the uh, horizontal line connecting point, uh, connecting a point of curvature with point of tangency. Denoted as L or L sub C. Uh, L C. Then subcords. Subcords basically refers to full stations or assigned stationing points. C is a full station and C1 are your substations. Okay? Kung sa C1, nandito yung inyong uh, tawag na dito, nandito yung ating culvert. Sa C2, nandito yung ating fire hydrant. Sa C1 to C2, refer, uh, C1 to C2 is a uh, full station and so forth and so long. Then, external distance, the distance at the point of intersection with the uh, surface of your curve. And the middle ordinate. Middle ordinate is the distance of the uh, uh, length of the curve or the curvature with the uh, long cord. Basically, segment lang yan. And we'll then have to analyze the entire figure using trigonometric analysis. Napakadali lang nun. Then, the degree of curvature. The degree of curvature defines the, uh, the curve, uh, defines how does a simple curve act as a segment. So, gano ka steep yung ating simple curve or yung ating horizontal curve. Now, there are two types in which we then analyze a uh, degree of a curvature. Sorry. Degree of a curvature. The degree of curvature, it is the central angle subtended by the length of the curve equal to one station. So, connecting two points referring to a full station or 20 meter full station. In English system, one station is equal to 100 feet. And in SI unit, one station is equal to 20 meters. Sabi ko kanina, some uses 30 meters and some uses 20 me ah, some uses 30 meters and some uses 20 meters okay for uh data uh, for uh, conservation uh, for conservation or a uh, data conservative uh, for uh, for being conservative on your data we'll have to consider 20 meters so with 20 meters full station there are two considerations for degree of curve we have the arc definition with regards to the arc length of a full station then with regards naman to the chord uh, definition do naman sa chord length nung isang full station ganito lang naman yun with the degree of curve under arc definition the uh, figure illustrates that the ratio between the degree of curvature d is 360 degrees is the same as the ratio between 100 foot of an arc and the circumference C of a circle having the same radius. So the degree of the curve, which refers to the uh, simple curve identified, divided by 360 degrees equal to a full station, which is 100 foot divided by C. Or the circumference, yung mismong arc length. Then uh, we have 2 pi r for the circumference. Pag English unit, we have a constant formula of, of the radius of the simple curve equal to 5,729.58 over the degree of the curve identified. Once you have identified the degree of the curve, you will then use this formula using a uh, arc definition for us to solve the required radius of the symbol curve. Then, for a metric unit, using a 20 meter full station, we have the radius equal to 1,145.916 divided by the degree of curve. So, yan lang naman yung difference nila. But, that is with regards to using the arc definition. Magkaiba yan pag chord definition. Pag chord definition naman, ang kailangan natin is a full station uh, from a point horizontally to another point such as shown in this 
figure. Okay? Pag chord definition, ang full station natin acting on the horizontal line. Pag uh, arc definition, ang ating full station refers to the arc. Okay? So chord definition, if you take a flat curve, mark a 100 foot chord and determine the central angle to be 0 degree and 30 minutes. There, and then you have a 30 minute curve chord definition. From the observation of the given figure, see the following trigonometric relationship. So basically, this is only a triangle. Translate lang natin using tri uh, trigonometric analysis. Sine is equal to D over 2 equal to 50. Kalahate ng ating full station divided by the uh, known radius. So for us to identify the actual radius of the entire simple curve that is now equal to 50 over sine D over 2. D is the degree of the curve identified on the given simple curve. Then... For metric unit, using a full station horizontal chord of 20 meter, kaiba yung chord length sa arc length, ha? Pag ang binigay na arc length of a full station sa problem is 20 meter, ang gagamitin, arc definition. Pag binigay 20 meter chord length of a full station, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin for us to solve for the radius is the for definition, lalo na kung ang given lang is the degree of the curve. Okay, using metric unit, radius of the entire simple curve is now equal to 10 meters over sine times the degree of the curve over 2. Okay, then yan na yung ating radius. Oh, yeah. Now, these are some formulas involving the analysis of a simple curves. Uh, lahat ng formula na gagamitin natin, pare-parehas na lang po iyan sa ibat-ibang klase ng uh, horizontal alignment or horizontal curves. We have a tangent distance which is equal to the radius of the identified horizontal curve uh, times tangent uh, central angle divided by 2. Chord distance which is from PC to PT, that is your LC or uh, uh, C. Uh, C pag full station, ha? Pag LC, pag uh, PC to PT. Uh, chord distance or long chord distance, uh, 2 times the radius of the given uh, horizontal curve, sine times the central angle divided by 2. Pero dito sa figure, that is supposed to be the long chord uh, distance. Then, length of the curve. Length of the curve is simply S over the, to uh, the uh, central angle equal to 2 pi r over 360 degrees. Okay? Mm, yeah. Central r. L sub C equal to delta 2 pi r over 360 degrees. Then, middle ordinate and external distance are as shown. Middle ordinate is your the distance of the arch with the chord. That is R times 1 minus cosine delta all over 2. Delta again is your central angle. And the external distance is the distance of the arch, outlaying arch with the point of intersection. Simply tangent, uh, simply equal to uh, tangent distance T from PC to PI or PI to PT times tangent central angle divided by 4 or r times 1 over cosine delta over 2 minus 1. And for our next discussions, next meeting, we'll have to start our lecture with a simple curve and some example problems for us to analyze.